So this, hey, that's so again. This should be our last segment because we're at the, near the end of the alphabet, T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. I'm not expecting that many X's, Z's. You, maybe, you know. So let's look at the last section of the most common words in the English language, the verb to take is extremely important, very common. It means a lot of things. Once again, two or three pages in any excellent dictionary, a lot of expressions. I have a lot of expressions with to take. That's way down the line when I begin to put up English expressions, not English expressions translated into Spanish, but just English expressions. So let me share my screen with you. Sometimes I forget to share the screen there. And I like the way that's written. I like colorful cards. I don't like the black and white ones. Sometimes black and white is okay. I like to take black and white photographs, for example, rather than color photographs, because I'd like you to, um, to uh, what's the word? To focus in on the subject rather than look at how beautiful or how, or how, how, how vibrant or how dull the colors are. But um, cards, I think, should be bright. And I think it helps you to remember, because sometimes when you're trying to remember something, you're trying to remember a word, the first thing you'll see maybe is the color. And you'll say, oh, yeah, I remember the verb take. It's a common word. So it's take, took, not tooken. You will hear that a lot. He has tooken the, the car. It's taken. So it's take, I take, you take, we, we take, they take, he, she, it takes. Then the past tense, I took. So it's I, you, we, they, he, she, it, took. Because most times, except for the verb to be, except for the verb to be, the past part, the past tense, the preterite, the, the form is the same for all, all persons. And then is, so it's I, you, we, they, he, she, it, took, and then taken. I, you, we, they have taken, he, she, it has taken, or had taken, or will have taken, or would have taken, or could have taken. Okay, the verb to take, very important. It can mean to take, to take something like to steal, to take something like to take it from one part of the room and put it on another part. It means a lot. And it's a verb that should be studied. Tell, we looked at that when we were talking about to say, people get mixed up to tell, to say. You tell me something. You say something to me. 10. These are the most common words in the English language. Remember the most common words, thank or thanks or thank you, thank you. You know, you're showing your appreciation, but you'll see not so much in letters. When I'm writing my, an email to a supervisor or to someone who's in charge or a director, I don't say thanks. He may say thanks, so she may say thanks to me, but I don't say thanks. I say, thank you, but you don't say thanks you. The S takes the place of the U, but thanks is informal at least in academic English or formal English. That, that is a very important word. It has two very distinct meanings. It could mean that house, that car, and it's the singular of those. It's far away, but singular. But that can also be to um, United sentence. 
He is the man, a conjunction. He is the man that helped me. Or he is the man who helped me. Or not who, no. Oh, wait a minute. He is the man that helped me. He is the man, no, who helped me. Because he and man are the same. And this is what I do. I'm showing you. This is what I do when I'm trying to figure out if do I use this one word or the other? Because you know, who and whom, I still use whom. You hear it rarely in the United States. I use it in my class so my students will know the word. But frankly, in general conversation, I may use it. In writing, I use it. I write a lot, I use it. But you have to be careful, right? So it's that, that, <laughs> that, that is not the same as the that house, that man, as he is the man that helped me. Their functions are very different in the language. The, I think, 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 and I've read, so it's more than just think, that the is the most used word in English. Unlike in Spanish and in French and in Italian, where this is broken down either singular, no, either masculine or feminine, no. There is no masculine or feminine form. El or la, no. Or plural or singular, no. The is mass user before a masculine noun, which there still aren't any. Well, there are, but they're not stated as masculine nouns. Man is a masculine noun. Woman is a feminine noun, but not like in French or in Spanish or in Portuguese or Italian. I guess in Romanian, these are all Latin-based languages. So you have the car, the house, like in Spanish, car is el coche, it's masculine. House is la casa, it's feminine, the, the in English, okay? Sorry about the noise. There's a ambulance passing by. So the house, or the houses, feminine, plural, no, the, and um, the cars. Masculine plural, this is in Spanish, no, it's the. So um, the is uh, an important word in the English language. From what I understand, it is one of the most important. Okay. There, there is a, uh, Oh, we talked about this before. It is the possessive adjective, their house, their dog. Them is the object pronoun, is the object pronoun, yeah, object pronoun, to them, to him, to us. Okay, very important word. There, that is different from the T-H-E-I-R. This is there, which is the opposite of here. These is the plural of that demonstrative adjective or demonstrative pronoun. Think, think, you must think. That's what the nuns would always tell me. Miss Ficklin, you must think, okay? Very important word. Something that a lot of us do not do before we act or before we open our mouth. It is, of course, it is um, irregular. It's think, thought, thought. I think every morning, <laughs> okay. No, that doesn't make any sense. I think before I open my mouth, I thought you understood. I have always thought you a liar. 
that's a telenovela or a soap opera. I've always taught you a liar. Okay, so it's think, thought, thought. This is the opposite of that. That is far away, that house. This house is close and it's singular and it's plural is these. And a lot of people cannot pronounce the difference between this and these because they can't, they, they don't distinguish or their tongue doesn't help them to distinguish between the short I, this, and the long E, these. Those is the opposite, no, it's the plural of that. That house, those houses. Three, bad news always comes in threes. Two, one of the most, if not the most important preposition in the English language. Today, oi, today. Tomorrow, in the future, yesterday in the past. Together, we go together, we go as a group. You know, this is running a little bit longer than I thought. I thought it was gonna only be one more grouping, but no, we have quite a bit more to go. So we'll keep looking at uh, the most common words in another video. This is Corrala Ficklin McLean at welcome, W-Y-L-C-O-N-E, welcome.com. And we will continue. The next video should be the last video. This is video eight. Video nine should be the last video, but we'll take as much time as necessary until we get um, all these words. And then we're going to look at, maybe not directly now, but soon we're going to look at um, sight words. These are words that children have to learn uh, when they get to kindergarten, they have to learn a certain level, first grade, another level, third, second grade, another level. Okay, so is that so again? I would like to thank you. I'm gonna stop sharing. I would like to thank you. You have a good day. Please share my videos. Please subscribe. Please help me get to a million people. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.